finally did graduate. When I left here, I hadn't graduated. I was supposed to graduate May of 2020. And because of COVID, I couldn't finish my student teaching. So over the summer, I finished all my student teaching materials, everything that I needed to do to turn it in. And then August of 2020, um, I had to like get it conferred. I don't know that process of the conferment, but once I turned everything into them, they were like, okay, we just have to, you know, finalize, process everything. And they conferred it December of 2020. And I graduated with 3.5. So I was really excited about that. I'm currently working at Uplift Mighty. Um, I'm a permanent substitute there. Okay. And I'm teaching 6th, 7th, and 8th grade special education right now. I'm registered again to do my master's through UTA. So the plan is within the next five years to finish two master's degrees, one in master's of arts of teaching and one in math curriculum because I want to be possibly like a math interventionist. And then with them as a Rye as a dancer, so I'm trying to get her back into dance, into gymnastics. She's very flexible, like she can do splits and everything. And then Lincoln, I'm still trying to figure out what he his thing is. Um, he likes dancing and stuff like that, but it's not like really something that he's like, you can evidently tell that's what he wants to do. Um, he likes to swim though. He loves the water. So I think Miss Candace didn't know about the apartment. I did let you know about the yes. apartment. I um, also applied to UNT Dallas, or not UNT Dallas, UNT um, of Arlington, UTA. Yeah. And I got Mama. accepted. Yeah, I got accepted for their master's program in math curriculum. Yay! So I'll be starting that. Uh -huh. So, um, but we are just really, I just wanted to tell you thank you so what? very much <laughs> for yeah. everything. Like, um, and I'll always definitely stay in touch with everybody. Thank you.